Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We just lost a very dear brother of ours, Koda Kanj. You know, I was with him two nights ago. We had performed Umrah in Mecca, and then he left for Medina, spent the day in Medina, prayed the Dhuhr prayer in the Rawda, directly behind the Imam, spent two hours in the Rawda, in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then towards the end of the day, he was feeling some pain, some chest pains, and then when things got really bad, he laid down, surrounded by his family, just at the time of the Maghrib prayer, while the Adhan was being called, he laid there making Shahada and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered for his life to be taken in Medina while the Maghrib Adhan was being called, while making Shahada, just after performing Umrah, just after spending two hours in the Rawda, to be buried in the Baqi' with the guaranteed intercession of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What an amazing death. A death that by Allah, I'm green with envy. And the truth is my brothers and sisters that his death is not by luck. Because I bear witness and I testified that this brother, he worked so hard for it. He worked so hard and that he was so sincere that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted him and gave him the honorable death that he has given him. For years, for years, he would pray Fajr in Jama'ah in the Masjid and then he would sit in the same corner until nine o'clock in the morning trying to memorize the Qur'an. And he was struggling. I remember when he would spend a whole week trying to memorize a whole week and he would barely get a line. And then from a line he would get a verse and then from a verse he would half a page until he reached the point where only less than a year ago he was so determined to memorize the Qur'an that he had left him and his family, went to South Africa, enrolled in a full-time Hafid school where he can memorize the Qur'an, dedicating his time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted him. A few months ago, his mom had passed away. He came back. He was at the service of his mother while she was dying. He slept in the house, didn't leave. Him and all of his siblings and the whole family that were at the service of their mother until the day that she died, until the day, her last breath, they were there at the service of their mother. You know, my brothers and sisters, if you want a great death, these great deaths, they don't come by chance. No, you have to work for it. You have to work for it and you've got to want it. And you've got to be so sincere. And wallahi, if you're sincere and you're dedicated and you work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept you and give to you like he gave this brother Khudr. Like he gave this brother. I ask you, my brothers and my sisters, how are we spending our days? How are we spending our nights? How will you die? You ask yourself, how will you die? The greatest indication of how you will die is how did you spend this day that you're watching this video? How did you spend this day? How did you spend last night? This is a very good indication of how you and I will die. Because the way you live, this is the way that you die.